I've had people whisper that in my ear at weird events that you know I've been to uh, in the promotion of this. I've had people get in touch, say that, yeah, I've had a few sort of awards commentator type you know, pundits and stuff say it. Listen, they haven't called me to do that, so um, I, I, unless faced with the actual sincere prospect of it, I wouldn't really know how to answer if I would do it or not. It would be a lot. I would be so terrified to have to do something like that. I remember my mate years ago had to sing at the Oscars and just being, I think I've probably said to him at the time, I was like, I can't think of anything worse than what you have to do. <laughs> we uh, were very aware that for Ken, it was massively cathartic experience and very emotional ride for him to be bringing this story to the screen after, you know, 50 years after the event, you know, it's, um, it was a lot for him. You know, we felt like we were very much on that journey with him. Listen, the response in the UK to that show is insane. Like it's so cool um, because it is a sort of slightly bonkers show, but in the best way. And I was always just wanting people to be willing to go on the ride with it because it's, it is very unique in its tone and it's genre bending and, um, it's, it's certainly like nothing the BBC have put out before. You've got like amnesia. Yeah. That is awesome.